Hello folks, and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. Today we have a special review for you. We're getting into Corbin Cash 8-year Merced Rye picked by the master distiller himself. That's right, David picked this himself. Uh, it's going to be a great one. Let's get into it. So, first off, in full transparency, the folks over at Corbin Cash did send me this bottle. Uh, didn't uh, expect that to happen. I contacted them, said, I need to get some more whiskey from you guys because it's amazing. I said I was looking for an eight-year pick to review. And they said, well, guess what? It's on us. And uh, Dave and Sarah, thank you so much for that. And folks, if you are not aware of Corbin Cash yet, please go to their website, CorbinCash.com, uh, I believe it is. I will, I will post it in the description for sure. That way you guys can certainly find them. And uh, see if you too can get some whiskey from, because you should. It's amazing. Uh, all their stuff is just great, great stuff. But let's get into this bottle specifically. This is an eight-year pick of their Merced Rye at cast strength, picked by David himself. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's do it here. Um, first off, let's get a little in the glass and uh, then talk a little bit about Corbin Cash. Now, of course, Corbin Cash is a grain to glass distillery. So, you know, uh, David and his father, well, I guess it's what, a few generations now, uh, they started a farm years back growing sweet potatoes and then Merced rye was their cover crop, which is how we got this beautiful liquid right here. And they thought to themselves, well, why don't we uh, distill both things? Let's make a crazy uh, sweet potato liqueur, which is pretty awesome. And then also they started making Merced rye and uh, both things are great. And then there's a blend of the two, which is uh, very unique. Uh, all worth trying. But let's uh, let's talk about this here. I'm not even close to the glass. It was way down here. I could already smell it. It's just such a prominent nose. You don't have to search for this one. It's uh, It kind of punches you in the face. Let's talk about these notes here. Uh, so there's a little bit of like fresh uh, cut uh, Christmas tree kind of thing going on. Uh, like Christmas spices and baking spices. All, all the spices are happening. So cinnamon, there's a little bit of uh, anise going on, a little clove for sure. Uh, I'm still getting a little bit of that pineapple note, that kind of like roasted, toasted, slightly smoky pineapple on the nose, which is really interesting. Nice kind of a molasses nose happening. A uh, little, well, I, say, I say a little, a lot of brown sugar. Uh, tons of oak presence. I love all the oak, just that nice charred oak note just jumping out of the glass. Very dark notes, very enjoyable nose. Uh, really super interesting and unique. Now though, let's get into the first sip. Here we go. Ooh, buddy, that, that'll wake you up right there. Uh, so this is, I didn't mention that, this is 136 proof. Yeah. And uh, I would say, you know, I wouldn't say it drinks hotter than that, but uh, you, you notice it. It's, it's certainly there. It's, you're, it's certainly coming across. Um, so up front, you get that kind of, uh, like in a good way, but like Christmas tree kind of notes, like piney notes. Also lots, just all of the baking spices. Uh, cinnamon, uh, anise, clove, uh, maybe even a little nutmeg in there. Uh, there's also just a little bit of a black pepper going on. Um, then it, it kind of transforms from all those spices into like caramel and molasses and the, the clove notes still kind of happening there. You still get like kind of that, uh, that kind of toasted grilled pineapple thing happening. Um, man, it, it's, uh, there's a lot going on in this class. Uh, I gotta tell you, man, what, what an experience. Let's go one more sip though and talk about that finish. Man, is this thing a roller coaster. So like I said, you get all those crazy spices up front, then it gets very caramel, butterscotch, molasses, brown sugar, mid palate. And then the finish is like where that pineapple note really shines. It's like this really great, like caramelized pineapple, like you would have like on a, on a good, like baked ham, like a holiday ham. This is very like all across the board. Very Christmassy vibes going on here. Holidays and uh, dinner with the family. 
uh, and you know, baked hams and, and apple pies. And yeah, it's just like, uh, I, I guess Christmas in a glass or something. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's awesome. I know that it's just, it gives you all the good feels. Uh, yeah, you can't, you can't be upset when you're drinking this. I tell you, um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Uh, I love this bottle a lot. I've, I'm just kind of getting into it, but man, thank you again, David and Sarah. What an amazing bottle and what an amazing company, Corbin Cash. Folks, again, check them out if you have not already. Uh, as I said, I will leave the link down in the description box so you can go to their website and see if you too can get some of this great stuff. Folks, now though to the score. I gotta say, this is, you know, of course, the, the standard 1917 made my whiskey of the year last year. And I would say this eight year product is even better than that. So needless to say, it's one of my favorite whiskeys ever. It's awesome. It's super unique. Uh, there's nothing else I've had that is like this. Uh, so, you know, I, I guess in a sense, maybe, you know, it, it needs to fit your palate, but it certainly does mine. Uh, so score, I'm going to go one of the highest scores I've ever given. I'm going to go a 9.7, nearly perfect. Uh, I love this rye. And by the way, it's right around a hundred bucks. Um, and so I think it's for that price point, eight year rye at cast strength. Um, and just the uniqueness. Wow. Yeah, it's awesome. Anyway, I hope that you like this review as much as I like this whiskey. If so, please hit that like button. We appreciate that. Also, here's other reviews from us right here. Here is the subscribe button. Please do that. And until next time, folks, just remember you can never have too much good whiskey.